Hey internet, so welcome back to my bedroom for the final installment of my apartment tour series. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I've really enjoyed sharing my home with you and it's now fully complete, which means I can go back to living like a hoarder with everything all over the place. No, I try not to do that. I'm kind of like average messy and I think you guys will see that when you see my bathroom today that everything is not perfect by far. I feel like a bathroom can be one of the messiest rooms in the house because there's so many products if you're like me and you love all things just kind of beauty and cosmetic and fashion um, your closet and your bathroom can end up being the craziest with everything that you're using just like out um, but you'll see I'll show you why I've kind of tended to be a little bit neater now that I've moved into this bathroom than I used to be. I just have less counter space and more room to organize things. So that combination tends to kind of push me to be a little bit neater and find good organization methods. So I will share some of those today with you and stay tuned if you'd like to see what is also inside my shower in terms of products. I guess this kind of also doubles as a favorites video because you'll see what's just out for me to use on a daily basis and what I like to reach for and have found it works for me for hair, skin, etc. So stay tuned if you would like to see all of that. So welcome to my bathroom and in this particular video you're probably going to see quite a bit of me in that mirror. So hello, um, and it's a pretty small room, so it's going to be pretty quick to take you guys around it. But I figured I would finish it by showing you basically the products that I use on a daily basis. Um, so let's take a quick look around. Behind the door I have four hooks. On the left hand one, which is empty, is for whatever pajama I'm wearing. Then I have one for my cozy robe, that one is from the bay, and it's just like that really soft kind of micro fleece that keeps you warm in the morning when you're cold and you've just woken up. I have a kind of kimono looking one which is from San Francisco's Chinatown, and then I have an eggplant velvet one which is from Oscar de la Renta at Holt Renfrew, and I got that in one of their clearance sales about two years ago now. So if I'm kind of lounging and I want to wear a robe, that's the one that I'll reach for because it's also surprisingly quite warm. Velvet is very kind of a warm cozy fabric so it's a good choice for a robe if you're into that. I have a towel rack that I don't actually put a towel on because there's another one that I'll show you um, but I just basically use that one as a flat iron stand. I keep my GHDs out all the time because I do my hair with them every single day so those are very old and grotty looking. Um, hopefully you can't tell too much on camera but they're like 10 years old and still going strong um, so I haven't felt the need to replace them. Then all the towels you'll see are from Notori um, and they were purchased at HomeSense and I really really like them. They're very plush and thick and luxurious and I wanted to move to an all white kind of color palette for my towels because you can bleach those and I just feel like they have that hotel look about them that I really like um, so those are the ones that I got and then on the sink from left to right I have my Sonicare toothbrush my Clarisonic in the pink which I don't use as much as I should but I need to replace the brush head because it's gotten kind of grotty now um, in the move and everything and then I have a soap dispenser and a toothbrush holder and those are both from Target and they have that mercury glass look to them that I really like although it is wearing off a little bit so I would warn you against that um, but I don't mind because it in a way just makes it look more antique than it did before um, and so my toothbrush holder I mean it's nothing exciting I really like the Jason toothpaste because that one is all natural and it has no sulfate or sweeteners in it but it's still very minty fresh um, um, and then I have my Bailey Nelson glasses. Those are my prescription glasses that I wear every day. I really have to be careful with this sink in terms of what I keep on it and keeping that very minimal because you can't see this on camera. You almost can't even see it to the naked eye, um, but it actually slopes towards the sink for, I guess, drainage purposes. And so a ton of things that you put in there just kind of fall in, um, which can be not so great. So I really try and keep that clear. My great accomplishment in setting this bathroom up has been putting up that little box shelving unit because I don't want any of those things to fall into the toilet. Um, that would be terrible and yes, I actually did do that before I put it in and had to throw a body lotion out. Um, so in there I just keep my Shiseido creams, which is what I wear at night, my Mitchum deodorant, contact lens solution, hair clip, um, tweezers, my Philosophy Purity Cleanser, and my Bliss Super Size Body Lotion. I have a jerk 
Jergens one behind that hairspray and my water pick from when I had my braces. You're wondering about the wash bag that says Dapper on it that belongs to my boyfriend. He purchased it recently and is very proud of it and very excited to show it off to you guys in the form of this video and he keeps all of his man cosmetics in there as well as his like razors, face creams, etc. So those are nice and contained and I hope it doesn't fall into the toilet but it seems to fit pretty well there. I hung up the shelf exactly the sort of right amount of height above that and I got that new um, little waist bin from HomeSense recently. I think that toilet roll holder and toilet cleaner are also from HomeSense but I'm not sure. And then in here I have the rest of my face care essentials. So there's some cleansers, there's a long comb serum, there are some Bliss facial masks that are peel off, some Bliss um, little um, pads that are basically um, like a chemical exfoliant. Um, so those are really great for overnight. I highly recommend those. And then just various kind of acne creams and lip balms in that green container. Three, two, one. I keep a box of just kind of medicinal essentials like spare, Advil, etc. Um, under the sink there and on top of that I keep all of my towels rolled because I find that that is kind of the best way to keep them there in the most compact way. And then I have a ton of spare makeup wipes from Neutrogena. You can see I really like those. I bought those on sale at Target. And then I have some down, downy um, wrinkle release spray that I use when I travel. So those drawers are basically mostly filled with backups of things. Before we move into the shower, I just want to show you this really neat feature in this bathroom, which is almost killing me right now because I'm wearing a sweater, um, but that is actually a heat lamp. So in the morning when you're freezing and you need to take a shower, you don't shiver so much because you're basically under the heat lamp like a little baby chicken. Now standing fully clothed in my shower, and my, sh my shower caddy is from Target, um, and then from left to right, kind of going clockwise, I have my Axis um, sh moisturizing shampoo, and that is from a local salon where I get my hair cut. I have a Trader Joe's nourishing shampoo. I like to switch up my shampoos because I just feel like that keeps my hair ultimately cleansed. Um, and then I have a shaving cream from Alba, a scrub from Lush, which I sometimes use on my hair because I feel like it's really great for your scalp. It's the Ocean Salt from Lush. And then I have my Macadamia hair conditioner, which is the only thing that I honestly will use anymore. It just really saves my hair. Then I have my razor with the moisturizing strip. I find those hugely overpriced, but they do work well if you have dry skin like I do. And then I have a deep cleansing shampoo also from Access. Access really like their line because it's sulfate free and I think that is better for you. In case you're wondering, I don't drink water in the shower. I don't have a random bottle of water. That Dasani water bottle um, is actually filled with apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar comes in a glass bottle and I don't think that's safe in the shower. And I really like rinsing my hair with that every couple of weeks to really get the buildup out um, and just refresh my scalp. It makes your hair so shiny. You guys will probably think that's super weird, but it's a kind of widely used and known natural remedy and it works awesome. If you ever kind of experience buildup in your hair, I highly recommend you try that over a shampoo. The Axis one is not really truly a buildup removing shampoo. It's just kind of a bit more of a volumizing one. And then on this corner is another area of overflow from the shower caddy and that good um, Burt's Bees shower gel is actually new I believe and it's from Walmart and it smells like mangoes. It's really nice and sweet for the morning, kind of energizing. Um, and stronger in smell. And then on the right hand side I have my Live Clean shower gel. That's I think also from Walmart and that's more of like a moisturizing shea butter type thing um, with a very kind of mild chocolate scent. Um, so I really like both of those and again both of those are sulfate free. So I'm going to bid you adieu in this mirror. I'm trying to look at the lens but it's kind of a bit confusing somehow doing it in a mirror. But I'm doing my best. Um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little bathroom tour and this now concludes my whole apartment tour series. I hope that you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for an exciting new series that will be starting next Monday. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.